some point in the past couple of months. They didn't really tell. It was a little bit unclear when it happened, and and we don't know he how he's going to be, but it's a wrist injury, so that's something to watch to keep an eye on for his power. Another guy who had a wrist injury was Starlin Castro. He is considered fully healthy and actually wanted to play winter ball, but the Nationals told him to rest and prepare to spring training. Castro had surgery for a fractured wrist back in August of 2020. And lastly, another guy in the Nationals and another wrist injury, that, that's Steven Strasburg. He's resumed throwing and is expected to be ready to start spring training. Strasburg had carpal tunnel surgery August of 2020. Oh, what's your uh, risk tolerance? You're the injury guy on 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 Strasburg. Last year obviously was a complete bust for him. Uh, what's your take on on is he too risky to to draft where he's going now? I don't think he's going to be risk that too too much risk. But again, like we discussed in our previous podcast, I wouldn't be paying a premium for him. Um, he's very similar to what um, this is very similar to what David uh, Price had a couple of years ago when he had an issue with his with his wrist also. Um, I think that David Price came back okay, so I don't think there's going to be an issue with Steven Strasburg. He's also a little bit younger, and unfortunately, Strasburg knows how to come back from surgeries and from injuries, so I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue. He's the 27th pitcher on the board taken in the NFBC currently, 73rd player overall. Uh, the pitcher who's right before him is Carlos Carrasco. Uh, I think, uh, especially with the change today, I think I would rather have Carrasco than Strasburg this year. You agree? Less risk, less risk. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. All right, uh, Ruvain, why don't you tell us uh, where uh, we can uh, read your stuff and uh, follow you? Okay, you can follow me on Twitter at MLB Injury Guru, where I tweet out injury updates throughout the season and the off season. And I also have a weekly in season article on Rollerballer discussing the injuries when they're coming back and who's next up. All right, my name is Ariel Cohen. I write for Fangraphs, CBS Sports, Sportsline, and Roto Bowler. The ATC projections are going to be coming out probably in about a week and a half by the time you hear this. So check them out. They'll be on Fangraphs this year once again. Very excited for that. I uh, want to give a special thank you to Minnesota Twins pitcher Randy Dobnak for joining us on today's show. A couple of good thoughts about the 2021 uncertainty. A little, little bit of an insight into what he does and how he thinks. So uh, it was kind of cool. Uh, and uh, we'll be back uh, later this week uh, with some more analysis. Uh, Todd Zola comes on the show next. Excited for him. And uh, from all of us here on Beat the Shift, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to the Beat the Shift podcast presented by Fangress. Follow us on Twitter at beat underscore shift underscore pod.